Woo! Stuffed seafood bell peppers, y'all. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's go. Let's get started. We have six medium bell peppers already cleaned out and pitted. Yellow onions, celery, parsley, red and green bell peppers, green onions, garlic, plain breadcrumbs, cheddar cheese. We have shrimp, Louisiana crawfish tails, crab meat, butter, pat in the pot, Cajun seasoning, Louisiana hot sauce, and of course, I got my drink of drink. Let me get a swig. Okay, y'all, the first step is you're gonna put all six peppers and parboil them for 10 minutes in a large pot of salted water, just enough water to cover the bottom of the peppers. And we'll be taking them out in 10 minutes. So let's cover it up. Okay, y'all, it's been 10 minutes, so you take it out, you're gonna drain it, and you're gonna set it on a dish and just let it cool off, and you're gonna go on to the next step. Next step, you're gonna add your butter to the pot and get it melted. Okay, y'all, next step is I added all my vegetables, and I added a little bit more than a half a cup of each, except for the garlic. I added about four cloves, but you can put as much or less vegetables that you want. It's uh, entirely up to you. I like a lot of vegetables in mine. So we're going to saute this together for a couple of minutes before we start adding our seafood. Okay, y'all, I let my vegetables saute for about five minutes. Now you're going to add your crawfish gonna add your shrimp then we're gonna let it saute for about 10 minutes okay y'all I let the shrimp and crawfish saute for about 10 minutes now I'll add my one pound of crab meat by the way it's one pound each of shrimp and crawfish and crab meat a pound of each okay y'all I did add a few squirts of this Louisiana hot sauce already in there so now we're gonna add who pack the pot Cajun seasoning baby we're gonna go ahead and Add some of that. And we're going to come back with the bowl and spicy. Pat in the pot. Order you some today. www.patinthepot.com You can see the link in my bio. Click on link tree and hit buy my spices. Now we're going to let this saute for about five minutes. Then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, y'all. It's been five minutes, so I added a cup and a half of breadcrumbs and a little bit more than a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up right quick. Okay, y'all, now it's time to start stuffing these bad boys. So I put about a cup of water at the bottom of the dish uh, and then we have all the seafood mixed together right here. We're gonna start stuffing it right here before we put it in the oven. Okay, y'all, we're gonna take the peppers and we're gonna go ahead and just start stuffing them. Just like this. I'm gonna stuff it all the way to the top. Just like that. And we're gonna do all six of them like that. Okay, y'all, look at these bad boys. I got them stuffed to the top with that pat in the pot, baby. All right, next step, we're gonna add the cheese. Ooh, there it is, y'all. Topped it off with some shredded cheddar cheese and now it's going to go in the oven on 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes all right y'all you know why this peppers is in the oven you know i gotta get a swig get it get a swig of my drinky drink here Ooh, saucy bomb baby all right, guys, look at this. So I told y'all 30 to 35 minutes in the oven. Well, I actually took it out after 20 minutes because it looks pretty done to me, y'all. So you're going to have to monitor it, watch it, depending on your oven wattage, how much, uh, how big your peppers are and everything. So 20 minutes, look at that. All right, y'all, there it is. Seafood stuffed bell peppers, y'all. Look at it. It's so moist and tender. And I know it's going to be delicious. I won't be able to take a bite right now, but it's too hot. But listen, y'all, for more Cajun cooking coming your way, make sure you follow, like, comment, and share all my videos. I'll be back with more Cajun cooking coming your way. I love y'all.